Speaking to all video editors and videographers, you guys are missing out. Mogurts are the way to go. What's up guys, my name is Evan Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I have sort of a different tutorial. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys the magic and power of Mogurts and why you need to be using them, why you need to be selling them. As videographers and video editors, of course we all struggle with the problem of making money. How do I make money in this field? How do I charge more for my clients? How do I keep consistent stream of income? Well, guess what? You're not alone because today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create another stream of income as a videographer, a video editor, a motion graphics animator, whatever you are, all for free right now on YouTube. This is probably gonna be one of the most important videos you watch so I really appreciate it if you can just smash that like button and hit subscribe if you find this video interesting. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So real quick, what are actually Mogurts? Well, in the Adobe world, Mogurts are simply short for motion graphics templates. These are basically edit templates that you create in After Effects, and then you export them into a special Mogurt file that you can then import into Premiere Pro or another After Effects project file, and then you can just basically recreate that edit without having to do the exact same edit over and over again. Take this video for example. You see this cool sick channel intro they have right here? Well, this animation is obviously not created every single time that they want to recreate this effect. They have what's called a Mogurt. They basically import this into their essential graphics panel in Premiere Pro. Just drag it in every time they want to use it in a project, upload the picture, change some of the text, and boom, there you go. You have a proper professional channel animation, which is in seconds without having to recreate anything from scratch. Now, I'm pretty sure those of you have been editing on Premiere Pro and After Effects for a while, you already know this, and you're like, why are you telling me this again? Well, I'm not here to just tell you what Mogurts are. I'm here to tell you why you should be making them. Now, I know countless videographers, video editors, motion graphic designers, graphic designers, making thousands of extra dollars a month without signing any clients. Now, how are they doing this? They are making Mogurts and they're selling them to other videographers who see and value their motion graphic templates. I'm doing this, I have friends who are doing this, I'm making money, they're making money, we're all making money. And guys, I'm saying this, I'm not here to gatekeep. I'm not one of those YouTubers who just keeps all the secrets to themselves. I really want everyone to go up, which is why I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can create some Mogurts where to sell them and how to make some money today's video. Now there's gonna be two parts of this video. The first part is gonna be how to actually make the Mogurt in After Effects. And the second part is gonna be where to upload them, how to market them, and how to sell them and actually start making some money off of them. Passively, passive income guys. That's, that's what it's all about guys. We live in 2023, it's all about passive income. So hang tight, grab some popcorn. We're gonna get into some serious Mogurt production today. Let's go. All right guys, so now that we're inside of After Effects, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our text tool. Let's go ahead and create a sick title card motion graphic template. Now this is probably one of the easiest ways that you can start off making motion graphics, start making money. This was the first Mogurt template file that I actually made. And so far it has made me probably about $2,000 right now. Absolutely insane. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, grab our title text tool right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click and type something like, fighting my demons. You know, that's sometimes just how it be. Shout out that new Ken Carson album, absolutely insane. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to my align panel, just simply line it up right and nice in the center like that. Now we have a very simple title card. So right here, I have this image that I actually made on Photoshop right here. Got it from Pinterest, shout out Pinterest. By the way, if you're ever lacking like design inspiration, go check out Pinterest, seriously. I, I know it sounds like a total white mom move, but bro, it's crazy how much inspiration I get from Pinterest sometimes. There we go, now we have a sick, nice title card template. And of course, let's go ahead and add some nice little text in the corner just to make it feel a lot more professional. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this portion up. Boom, there we go. Once we've designed a nice little base title card, as you can see, it's basically the same thing. I just put some nice little gothic text in the corners. Really quick design tip, by the way, which I feel if you put any crazy, cool, sick font or something absolutely wild, make that really big. And then you have a bunch of other cool, just very simple Arial or Helvetica type fonts just around it in very small, like composed areas. It looks a lot better. Trust me, just a really quick design tip. If you're ever looking to make some fire ass title cards, now it's time to go ahead and add some sick animation to our effect. Now let's go ahead, go to our effects and presets, and I'm gonna search for the wave warp effect. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag this wave warp effect to our Fighting My Demons main title card right here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a nice little sick glitch intro animation. I'm gonna change this from sign to square. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and increase that wave height a bunch, like something around 80. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and bump up that wave speed to something around like eight to 10. And then I'm gonna just go ahead, increase that wave width a little bit, 
And now let's see if we play this out. We have some sick jittering animation. And let's go ahead and hit the drop down on the Fighting My Demons tab, hit the drop down on the effects and hit the drop down on Wave Warp. I'm gonna create some simple glitch animation right now. I'm gonna hit a keyframe at the very beginning of the clip on the wave height. I'm gonna come in a couple frames and then I'm just going to go ahead and decrease that wave height down to zero. And now what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna go to the very middle keyframe right here in between that wave height. And I'm just gonna set that middle keyframe to whatever that value is to negative. And let's go ahead and hit that and boom, there you go. You can see we have a sick bouncing glitch effect right there. And now what we're simply gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and simply right click this wave warp, duplicate the effect. So now we have double of it and we're basically just gonna change that direction to zero. Now we have some even more crazy glitch effects going on right here. And honestly, if you ask me, it looks pretty dope. Now, last thing to tie this up, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some flickering effect to this. So let's go ahead and search for the flicker, choose the flicker opacity at layer in, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that to my fighting my demons layer as well. And now you can see we have a nice flicker intro effect going on with our title. Now, once we have all our effects right here, I'm just going to go ahead, hold shift, select all of them, right click them, copy them. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that to every other layer on my panel. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all these, hit command V and paste and boom, there you go. Now you can see if we play this out, every layer on this effect right here has this nice glitch intro effect right here. Oops, make sure to do that at the very beginning of the title card as well so that they're not glitching for a super long time. And now you can see we play that out, boom. We have this nice glitch intro to our title. And now it's time to go ahead and turn this into a motion graphics template. And really quickly, might I mention, you can do this with any effect. I'm just doing this nice little glitch intro because I think it's cool, but you can do this with any effect on After Effects, put whatever settings you want, create whatever cool animations you want, and then you can turn this into a Mogra File, those effects don't even have to be from Premiere Pro. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit the window, hit workspace, and I'm gonna change this to essential graphics panel. Now it's time to create some Mogers. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna title this, let's call this Opium Title Card 2. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the drop down on my first main title card right here. And I'm gonna click on this little part right here that says source text. I'm gonna drag the source text all the way to our motion graphics panel and boom, there you go. You can see we now have a motion graphics editable text template for Premiere Pro. You can hit the edit properties panels and this basically allows you to change the font, change the size and change the Fox styles in Premiere Pro, which is something you always wanna give your users. We're gonna hit okay and boom, there we go. Now we have some more adjustments and ways to change things up. And you can see right here, this is already looking pretty similar to Premiere Pro's essential graphics panel operator. Now might I add, for those of you who are making these mogers to sell them online and make some extra income, which I highly, highly recommend. Seriously guys, it's just an extra stream of income. It takes super easy to make and best part is you can just keep selling these mogers over and over and over again. You don't have to ship them. You don't have to recreate them. You don't have to make them for each product order. It just sells on its own. Passive income, guys. Seriously, I can't stop preaching that enough. The superior form of income. Literally. Anyways, you always wanna make sure that you give your users and your editors the most customization and ability to control anything they want in their Moger. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna hit the drop down on the transform panel right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in the position and the scale options. So that way they can go ahead and change the position and scale of whatever that main title is. And also just for clarification, this little like title right here on the left-hand side is basically the name of whatever property you're editing. So you can go ahead and just title this main title and then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that and then paste that for the rest of these so that they know that they are changing the main title position and they are changing the main title scale command V boom there we go now you can see we're kind of building a nice little product right here you are now a product designer congrats high five high five through the screen right now do it do it I'm waiting I'm waiting all right good one that, that, that kind of hurt man um <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what you're gonna do is now once you've created your first main title effect, we're just gonna go ahead and do the same for the rest of the properties. Right here, the demon opium teeth image right here, you can also just go ahead and literally just drag this layer into your Mogurt. And now in Premiere Pro, it will always automatically give them the option to replace that image from whatever image they want, so you don't have to do anything there. But one thing I do recommend is also always every layer that you import into your Mogurt, give your user an option to control the position and skill, trust me. You need to do it because they need to do it. They need to change the position and scale. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep continuously doing this for each text layer on our title card right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this portion up. As you can see, I'm basically doing the exact same thing, just dragging in the source text, dragging in the scale and position, making sure I click on the edit properties tab, of course, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add the position and scale for each one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this portion up. 
and boom. Now once you've gone ahead and added all the properties for all of your elements in your panel, it is time to export. So make sure you give it a proper name for whatever mode you wanna call it and make sure you're selected on your primary composition title. So right here, I'm just selected on the Mogurt tutorial composition. This is where we're exporting it from. And now, just hit the big button right there that says export motion graphics templates. Pretty simple. Just make sure you save your project, of course. And then you can go ahead and browse where you want this folder to go. So I have a folder right here specifically in my drive for Mogurts, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save and hit OK. Boom. It's gonna say, remember, your users have to have these fonts right here. So whatever fonts you're using, make sure they're free license fonts so that you're not infringing on anybody's intellectual property. Hit OK and boom, you've exported your first motion graphics. High five again seriously give me that hot hit me hit, come on come on come on come on let's go let's go that that, that one hurt as well <laughs> you're pretty strong just like your mogurts are going to be strong and just like your revenue is going to be strong after you start selling them please guys please sell your mogurts make additional passive income it's better than clients it's better than video editing for other projects seriously guys please i can't preach that enough now it's time to go ahead and hop right into premiere pro so as you can see right here i got some sick ken carson footage and now let's go ahead and import our new open title that we just created in After Effects. We're gonna go over here to our central graphics panel. I'm gonna hit the browse mode and now I'm gonna go to my little nice Mogurts file where I exported all my Mogurts. So right here, this is the Mogurt file that we just created, the Opium Title Card 2 Mogurt. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that in to my essential graphics panel. Super easy look. Literally just dragged it and dropped it and boom, there it is. You don't have to go into any files, any directories, any libraries, nothing crazy like that. Just drag and drop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag this onto my project and as you can see because we exported this in 4k we just got to scale it down a little bit and boom there we go we have a sick mogurt effect this title is absolutely insane it's crazy how easy it was to make and how easy it was to use and boom voila there we go our title card is in the video it's crazy we did it congrats now you can see we have all these nice little options right here to edit and change whatever you want like these positions the fonts absolutely bunch of crazy stuff and it's crazy the fact that you made this we did this it feels like we working for adobe now or something you guys are now officially programmers it's crazy and the most important part is that i can change this text to whatever i want what if ken carson was going through something and he just called it fighting my loved ones man you know like that that shit's tough too so as you can see we can just change it to whatever you want it gives your user the most customization and you have a good product that people like and that you can put online and that you can sell and start making some money which leads us into the final part of the tutorial of where are you actually going to start selling these mogers now, once you've made your Mogurt and you now have a preset file that you're ready to start selling and sharing with the world, where do we actually list? Where do we sell? And most importantly, how do I get the word out? Well, in this video, I have a really unique opportunity and special offer for you. Normally, once you create a Mogur and you're ready to sell it, there's a bunch of big library websites such as Envato Elements or Motion Array where you can list them and sell them there. But the only problem with those websites is that they take 50% of your profits. 50% guys, that's that's a lot, that's ridiculous. The reason why I'm recording and uploading this video is because I wanna tell you about 11%.net, our store where we sell our own preset packs to you guys and other video editors alike for relatively cheaply prices. And the best part is, is that we're expanding our store and we're looking for other creatives, particularly you guys who've just created a new Mogurt preset pack that you're ready to sell. And we would love to have you guys list your product on our store at 11%.net. And the best part is, is that we're not taking 50% of your profits. We're not taking 40% of your profits. We're not even taking 30% of your profits, but all we're asking for is simply 11% of your profits. You got it, it's in the name, and you're getting the rest of that 89% of your profit that you make on all your sales because it's your work. You're the one who created this product and you deserve the profits. All we need is just 11% to just manage the back end of the website and just keep our library going, but we're looking to expand our store and we want to have more creatives and unique voices like you guys and have your product listings on our website. Now, what I'm about to say right now is a really unique offer, especially to right now. So depending on when you watch this video, this may or may not still be going, but right now we're running a special two month program that's gonna teach you guys how to create Mogurts, how to sell them, how to market them, how to just get them out and just start making passive income as video editors. And the best part is, is that this program is entirely free. There's no cost to join. There's no cost to upload or post your product on 11%. All we're asking for is an 11% profit after you make a sale. So basically there's no upfront cost. You don't have to pay anything, no fee. All it costs is your time and willingness to create some Mogurts and list them on our website. And frankly, I think this is probably one of the best opportunities for any video editors out here. You guys are the creatives in this field, so it shouldn't be your job to to manage the website and product listing and marketing and all the extra business
business side of creating and selling preset packs, which is why we're gonna be doing all the website management and save you all that time of having to go out, create your own website, build up your following, do a bunch of marketing, do SEO ad campaigns and YouTube ads and all that extra stuff. We're gonna be taking care of that. We're gonna be marketing your product. We're gonna be putting your products out there to our followers and our base. So it basically saves you all that time. All you literally have to do is just make the Mogurts and upload them to our website and get 89% of your profits. So if you're interested, definitely make sure to check out the link in the description. There's more info there. And we have a form that you can fill out if you're interested and get you enrolled and running in this program. The reason why I have this channel and I'm doing YouTube is to teach and help educate others to grow their skills and to help them become better video editors, better videographers, and most importantly, build a career out of it. And that includes making money. I often feel like every other channel out there is just doing the exact same thing, making their videos, creating their own presets, and it's just all about that particular channel or their particular brand. I really wanna expand 11% to just beyond ourselves and to other creatives and other video editors out there to help them win, help them grow, and help them make more money as video editors and videographers. So if you're interested again, make sure to check out the link in the description at 11%.net. We'd love to see you guys there. Remember, no upfront costs, completely for free. I'm serious, there's no fine print, no hidden text or anything like that. We're just really out there. Help you guys grow. We'd love to see you guys there.